I'm going to make the caramel sauce for our baked apples. It's a very simple recipe. The hardest part about this recipe is watching it because caramel gets to a certain point and it burns. If you catch it in time, it's great. It's a simple, simple recipe. Don't get nervous about it. It takes one cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, I have a pinch of salt, I have a tablespoon of bourbon, and I have a half a cup of heavy cream. And then when I finish the sauce, I'm gonna store it in one of these canning jars with this, these tight lids. Then you can keep it in your refrigerator for up to two weeks. And it's really delicious because you can put this not only on the apples, but on ice cream, on pie, just about anything. So we're going to start by putting our sugar and our water in the pan. And I'm not gonna mix it up. And we're going to put it on. And now the trick to this part of it is not stirring it at all. When you're going to mix it is like about every 30 to 45 seconds you're going to swirl it, put it back. So we'll just sit here and we will babysit this for about 15 minutes it's gonna take. But start watching it at 12 because it can go pretty fast after that. What you're looking for is a dark amber color. Don't let it smoke. You, you'll see what I mean when we're ready to go. So 15 minutes and we will be good. I've been swirling for about 13 minutes on and off and I can tell it's getting close because the whole mixture is starting to turn a pale yellow. So I have to keep a real close eye on it now because it could go to the amber stage really quickly. We're very, very close. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to add the salt, the bourbon, and all of the cream. Now I will stir. I'm going to put it back on the heat for about one minute while stirring. It's gonna bubble up, so be very, very careful. and stir constantly for this minute. Don't necessarily get all the stuff that's stuck to the sides because that's all crystallized. And that will make your um, syrup just got some on my hand. That was hot. Just want to make sure there's no lumps in there because when you put the cold liquid into the hot liquid, it's seized for a second. I want to make sure my jar is ready to go. It's calming down. out of here. You can see it's all foamy and I can feel some hard stuff on the bottom. Don't worry about that. You're not going to try to get all of that out. And now we're going to pour it into our jar. Don't scrape all of this. If you scrape it all, you're going to get a lot of crystallization. So leave this at room temperature so it's not steaming. Once it's room temperature, you can seal it up and then put it in your refrigerator. And like I said, it'll last in your refrigerator for up to two weeks. There's your caramel sauce. That'll go great on your baked apples. Time to roll out the pastry to wrap around the apples. Um, I have some homemade puff pastry here. You don't have to make your own. You can go to the supermarket and buy it frozen. Um, I'm not going to make the puff pastry in this program because I just did a program all about puff pastry. And if you want to watch that, you can go to our website 
and you can watch the whole video of how to make homemade puff pastry. It's a lot of fun and it's not as hard as you think. All right, so since I'm only gonna make two apples, I need seven inch squares. So that's why I only have a small piece of puff pastry. So I'm gonna roll this out to approximately seven inches by 14 inches. Keep moving it so it doesn't stick. Like that. And I always keep my handy ruler. So that's, I've got my seven inches and I need another four for this. I love baked apples. It's a tradition in New England and in the Midwest. And they are just so good. Okay, so I'm gonna take off a little on the end here. And a little bit here just to kind of square it off. And just a little bit around the edges to make it look nice and neat. Now, Eyeballing it. Now, here's a trick that I saw in a cookbook recently that I think is great and it works wonderful for the baked apples. Is, I'm gonna make that just a little bit more. Okay. It kind of snapped back, so I'm just giving it a little bit more room is they made notches on all four sides, which I'm going to do about two inches in. There's one. Do this a little bit more. notches. Notches. Okay, now we're all ready. I'm going to go get my apples and my sugar and come back and show you how to wrap these. I have my apples which I have peeled and cored. These are Gala apples. Um, also, another good apple for this would be um, Golden Delicious, I really like. And I'm going to put in, I mixed up three tablespoons of brown sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And I just mixed it together. And I'm filling up the core. I'm going to put a little squeeze of lemon juice on each of them. And I got a seed, get rid of that. And a touch, little tiny nub of butter. Okay, make an egg wash, just one egg. And I'm just gonna brush this along the edges. And you'll see why these notches really work out great. You don't get an awful lot of excess of dough here. You bring up the two sides to the middle, pinch them over, bring up the two sides and pinch them, and then go down the sides where you have all these little creases and just pinch them all together. If you really want to get creative, you can take another piece of the dough and cut out little leaves and put some leaves on here if you want to. I'm not going to get that fancy today. And then I'm going to put these in a baking dish. I'll do the other one. My apple. Cinnamon sugar down the middle. 
Now, if you wanted to, instead of putting just all cinnamon sugar, you can put raisins in here, you could put nuts in here, whatever you like. I'm keeping it simple today. Just a couple of dots. A little thing of butter. And egg wash. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And if these leak a little bit, that's no big deal. Okay, now, I'm gonna just clean up this space a little bit. Bring these over, and I'm going to egg wash the outsides. We're gonna start these in a 425 degree oven. for about 15 minutes. And then I'm going to turn the temperature down to about 375 and let them go for another 30 to 40 minutes until the apples are tender. You can stick a skewer in the middle. Let me just get some sugar. Okay, I have a little bit of sparkling sugar here. Put on the outside. So, in the 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Turn it down to 375 for about 30 to 40 minutes. And you'll have some great apples. And I'll show you how to serve these with that wonderful caramel sauce. I've just taken the apples out of the oven and boy, are they hot. If you keep your uh, sauce in the refrigerator for any length of time, you wanna take it out, remove the cap and um, Put it in the microwave for about 30, 45 seconds until it becomes liquidy again, because it will set up a bit. So here we're gonna go, we're gonna put some on the bottom. Take one of my apples. Wow, oh, that's hot. And then I'm gonna just drizzle it a little bit more with some of that sauce. The only other thing you could add to this is maybe some whipped cream or a scoop of vanilla ice cream, but there is a great fall dessert, baked apples in puff pastry.